So hello everyone, I'm Rafael from Notebooks Project. And today we're gonna see another Java challenge about annotations. So let's see the code. I'm gonna just share my screen here. Can you see my screen? Yes, yes I can. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a brief. Um, so in this challenge we have uh, static class. Um, so it's basically a pojo with a variable attack type and a method. And here there are two annotations, table and column. And here we are printing this information. So um, I'm gonna give you some time and uh, take your guess. Okay then, so let's see the answer. Let's um, run here. Okay, so it seems Renaldo was right. Let's see why then. Congrats. Um, okay. So uh, one important thing that we uh, to note here is that the annotation is will only work if we have this retention, uh, reten um, with a retention policy runtime. So oh, that can be I see what you mean. Um, it's gonna work in a uh, runtime. Okay, so um, so here we get uh, the Jedi dot class. Then we get the annotation, and uh, we get the annotation from here. Okay, so it's a, a class level annotation. So it's gonna work fine, but um, here. We are getting a notation from the Jedi class, but there's nothing here in the class. There is something on the column, in the column. So that's why it's not gonna work. Uh, we are trying to get an annotation from a class that doesn't exist. So in order to make this work, you would have to go into the fields from this class. So I have here an example uh, that we can try it out. And then I can show you um that it would work if we do that okay so let's run now and then we get the attack type um so what we are doing here basically is to go into a stream of the declared fields and uh and then we ask if the name of the field is equals to attack type. So it would take this name here. And then we get the annotation, uh, the column class annotation, and just print the name. So yeah, if we do that, it's possible to get this information. Otherwise, uh, it's not possible. Uh, we have to go into the fields. And uh, one other thing that's important to mention here with uh, annotations is that if we use the method get declared fields, we get every field. We get fields that are even private. So we have to be careful when using annotations because uh, we can break encapsulation. But uh, there is another method called uh, get fields. But when we use get fields, we just get the um, accessible fields. So if we are using a field that is uh, is private, for example, or that uh, you, you can't access, we use the get declared fields. So it's going to work in the same time, the same, um, yeah. So we can, we can debug here as well. Um, so here we get the declared fields. Uh, and we have just this field here. Uh, attack type. Then we have the type, we have uh, modifiers, we have loads of 
other attributes. Then we can just um, do whatever treatment we want. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Do you have uh, any questions? If you change the retention policy, what's going to happen there? You got a new point of reception again? Yeah, we're going to have a problem. Uh, let's just go back. Well, just comment that second one over there. Just comment the, the rotation policy on the second. What's going to happen now? Again, NPE? No pointer. Yeah. So if we put if we put it back, it's gonna work fine. Mm. So just have to be careful with those details because sometimes we are implementing the right code, but uh, there is a just a detail here, uh, just a retention policy that is messing up the logic. So just have to be careful with that. That's it. Uh, any other questions? No, that's interesting. No, Perfect. very good. OK. Very nice, yeah. yeah, thank you. Just going to stop sharing my screen. And that's it for today, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed the, this video and learned a bit more about annotations. Annotations are important because it enables you to implement generic components and uh, make your code more flexible. And um, you can just avoid code repetition and make your code really, really flexible and generic. So if you liked the video, give a like and subscribe to the video. And um, you can go to uh, notebooksproject.com. There is a section there called uh, Java Dev Gym, and you can take more Java challenge. So see you the next week.